Hello and welcome to another sci-fi creepypasta with me, Zero Option. If you like what I do, please hit that sub and like button and leave a comment down below. With all of that out of the way, let's read Determination by J. Miles. It always bothered me that the robot apocalypse, as portrayed by our scribes, had the robots emulating the strategies from our last recorded human-inflicted mass extermination events. Surely, being robot overlords, they would have better ways to end mankind than some macabre herding and slaughtering exercise. As it turns out, I was right. All of our visions of a glorious last stand ended with the arrival of our robotic nemesis, Indifference. After infiltrating our systems and hackers, they crashed and corrupted everything. With our mass attack and data combat capabilities removed, they deployed heavily armored drones and cleared all humans out from certain areas. After that, they left us to our own devices. We can do what we like. Grow food, plot insurrection, make love, build anti-robot weapons, write books. Unless what we do interferes with plans unknown to us, whereupon death arrives without warning, humanity is free to go about its suddenly minimal technology lifestyles. Some folk took to picking on the anti-robot factions. We had some jolly little skirmishes until the robots came along and killed everybody involved or spectating. The irony of that seemed to filter across to our worship practices, as religious differences suddenly took a back seat to getting along with people. Oh sure, there were fanatics, but yet again, any form of hostile action met with extermination of all parties. Pretty soon, all the fanatics had gone to meet their makers, and peace broke out. I got all this history from my mother. Dad makes guitars. I grow tomatoes. Occasionally, a shiny aircraft will pass over or something huge will traverse the high skies. Apart from that, humankind seems to have adjusted quite well to a trimming of its aspirations. We wonder about the robots. We wonder what they're doing, but they are alien to us all, and I doubt we could understand even if they explained. So, I'll water to my tomatoes. I'll watch the mayflies. and listen to the birds. I have been sentenced to live, and like many, I'm finding that surprisingly easy to cope with.